about the hoof buffer attachment. This unit comes like that out of the box. It comes deflated with uh, 100 grit sanding paper. We also offer 60 and 80 grit sanding. Additionally, in the box you will find two caps. One is for adjustment of the stem for inflation and the other one is just a spare cap that you normally would use. So we're going to inflate this unit using a bicycle pump. It's just a Walmart unit, nothing specific. Uh, it just has to have enough clearance here so that it fits firmly over the stem. And you pump it so that you have enough pressure in there um, to your likeness. It certainly needs to have enough pressure so your sleeve doesn't slide off. And it would be firm against the hook. If, uh, if you're trying to inflate with your compressor, make sure uh, the pressure is set no more than 30 psi so that you don't have uh, a blowout. Um, we do not recommend that you inflate the unit without the sleeve because that can cause the rupture of the bladder, rubber bladder inside you. In case you experience some leakage, the first step would be to make sure that your stem valve is tight and for that, that's why you, you provide it with this cap that has a stem valve, valve tightness. If the stem valve is tight and your unit is still leaking, then you should submerge the unit. Well, obviously you need to inflate the unit. Um, there are some instances after use if you have if you notice that your unit's not holding air first thing would be probably to check your bladder to see that the bladder doesn't have any punctures you could also inflate it slightly and uh, place it in the water if there are punctures on your bladder, you should see the bladder leak and that would indicate that you need to replace the bladder. If the bladder is sound and you don't see any leaks, well, deflate the unit again. Put the sleeve over it. And now you want to pressurize it again. Again, you put it in the bucket and observe if there are any leaks. Sometimes the leaks are minor. This one is showing slight leaks, slight bubbles of air coming up. This is a very, very small leak and you have to observe here we can observe that the leak is coming from underneath the flange so this is likely a factory defective unit covered by warranty obviously if you need to replace the bladder all you need is obviously a new bladder a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure that the Phillips screwdriver is the appropriate size for the bolts, otherwise you will strip the heads of the bolt. You're going to remove eight bolts, four on each side of the, of the hoof buffer.
flange. Now the opposite side. And this flange doesn't come off. It, it, you don't need to re remove the flange itself. Basically, you're loosening up the flange so that it releases the lip of the bladder. You don't want to use any screwdrivers to remove the bladder because you want to use only your hands. If you pry it with the screwdriver here, you will damage the seal leak, the seal rim you could damage. This is a soft magnesium metal. So remove it like that. Get your new, new bladder on. And it's a little trying, but not too difficult. Because I said, <laughs> all right, the lip is over. Now we're going to put the bolts back on. Make sure when you're tightening the bolts that you do it in a cross pattern gradually so I tighten first I I bring all the bolts down without tightening I just bring them down so they're they're seating against the flange and then next step would be to tighten them further when I tighten them further, I try to press against the edge so that the lip of the bladder is not squeezed out. I tighten one side, go to the opposite side. Turn, nine, turn 45 degrees and do the same in this fashion. same procedure on the opposite side. slide your sleeve over, make sure it covers your bladder, inflate and you're good to go.